not much of a specimen. Don't fall for it! Eruption! That's it? How's this getting started? Kratos! Are you trying to take Colette away? I have no intention of fighting you inside the city. You still lack the skills to defeat me. Don't insult me! I merely speak the truth. Chosen one. If you wish to live, you must remove that worthless key crest. No. I'm never taking it off. Lloyd gave this to me. Foolish sentiments. He wasn't after Colette? Man, what an arrogant SOB. Talking as if he knows everything. While we're on the subject of ways of talking, why don't you do something about the vulgar language? <laughs> anyway, Lloyd, we must go see this Kate person. Yeah, let's get going.
Not much of a specimen. <laughs> <laughs> That's it? How's this getting started? Not much of a specimen. No way! That's it? How's this getting started? No way! 
like to help me. Nurse! Not much of a specimen. No way! Should be some no way. Percent output should be Are you okay? That was just warming up.
reinforcements, huh? That was disappointing. Not much of a specimen. Output should be Too much? Not much of a specimen. No way!
hear something. Footsteps from far away. I don't hear anything. Colette still has her angel senses. They're definitely footsteps. Also, the sound of clinking armor. There are lots of them. It's coming from that direction. That can't be good. Altessa lives over there. Could it be more of the same guys from earlier? I'll send Corinne out to scout. That's the guy from the Mel Tokyo sewer. Man, it's just one thing after another with the Pope. Am I really that much of a problem to him? I do not wish to fight you. I just want to speak with that girl. With Prisea? You've got to be kidding. Or did you forget that you tried to kill us? I cannot speak for any others. However, I, at least, never intended to take your lives. My orders were to retrieve a girl named Colette. Me? I will do you no harm. Prisea is her name, correct? Please, let me speak with her. An X-Sphere? You are yet another victim? Prisea's in danger! I don't know what the heck is going on, but we have to stop this guy! We have no choice but to fight. No way! Are you okay? Spin away! Are you okay? He sounds like he has reasons for his actions. Perhaps we should take him prisoner? I'm sure he has much to tell us. Sheena, there were a lot of soldiers and they're all coming this way! Run away quickly! Looks like Colette was right. The footsteps keep getting louder. Uh, shouldn't we get out of here? But the Papal Knights are waiting for us if we go back. It looks like we have no choice. I'll take you to the village of Mizuho. Whoa there, Sheena. Isn't Mizuho a hidden village, kept secret from outsiders? But we'll be trapped from both sides if we don't do something. There's nothing we can do but take shelter in the village. Okay. Please show us the way, Sheena. He's zealous. Carry the big guy for us. Me? You want me to carry this ogre by myself. Are you kidding me? Here, I'll help. Zelos will have a hard time by himself. Aw, you're so nice, Colette. We Chosens have to look out for each other, right? Yeah. Oh, he's lighter than I thought. I can carry him myself. Huh, well, I see. Men are so useless these days. Come on, we need to go!
not much of a specimen. <laughs> 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 Sheena, what is the meaning of this? How could you bring outsiders into the village? I am prepared to accept my punishment. Inform the Vice Chief. I've brought the travelers from Silverant. From Silverant? You are from the dying world of Silverant? Well, except for me. I see. Sheena, come with me. The rest of you. Wait in front of the chief's house. Oh, he's awake. Wh where am I? You're our prisoner. Don't try anything funny. I like to think that I'm smart enough not to start trouble when I don't understand the situation. The Vice Chief is ready to see you. Travelers from Silverant, you may enter. Thank you. Our leader, Chief Igaguri, is ill. I, the Vice Chief Taiga, shall speak on his behalf. Because Sheena failed to kill you, we, the people of Mizuho, now face persecution from the Tetheala royal family and the Church of Martel. Is that true? Yes, at least from what I've heard. Now I have a question. People of Silverant, what do you plan to do in Tetheala, the land of your enemies? I've been thinking about that for a long time. Someone asked me why I came all the way to Tetheala, what it is that I want to do. I want a world where everyone can have a normal life. I'm tired of people having to become sacrifices. I'm tired of discrimination. I'm tired of people becoming victims. I'm tired of it all. You are an idealist. The worlds of Tetheala and Silverant flourish only by victimizing the other. So long as that structure remains the same, anything you say is mere sophistry. 
And we need to change that structure. This world was made by that Yggdrasil guy, right? If a human or elf built this, then we should be able to change it as well. <laughs> you speak like the hero, Mythos. He was a sublime idealist. He ended the ancient war by insisting there was a way for the two warring countries to coexist in peace. Are you saying you can become the next Mythos? I'm not Mythos. I want to save the two worlds my way with the help of my friends. I see. In other words, you aren't worried about following past methods. Well then, we shall search for a new path as well. Vice Chief, do you mean... Yes, we will use our information network to aid you. In return, when the path of prosperity for both worlds has been found, we wish to move our people to Silveron. But I don't have any right to decide something like that. All we need is for you to aid us in our move. Is everyone okay with us joining forces with the people of Mizuho? If it will change the relationship of the two worlds. Well, that doesn't sound like a bad deal. Let's hurry up and decide so we can go rescue Prisea. As long as Tetheala is safe, I don't care what you guys do. Okay then, it's settled. We're going to look for a way to change the two worlds. Let's work together. Agreed. Then I hereby order Sheena to continue to accompany you. This time, however, not just as an observer, but as a representative. Make... Yes, sir! But Taiga, you sure you want to turn the royals and the church against you like that? How about if I ask you? Given a choice between the forces which wish to sacrifice one of the worlds, and the force that wishes to preserve both worlds, which would you side with? I'd like to say the one that's likely to win, but I suppose I'd want to help the side that wants to preserve both worlds. Exactly. Now the first thing we shall do is devote all our resources to locating the Riards. Fortunately, it appears that Sheena attached a guardian to the Riards, so we should be able to locate them shortly. Understood. Thank you for your help. Is he for real? What's your name? Regal. Regal, huh? I'm sorry, but we're gonna have to keep you prisoner for a bit longer. Lloyd, how about letting Pops here fight too? Even though he might betray us? He has business with Prisea, right? And he's not gonna try anything before he gets a chance to speak with her, you know? Actually, that's not a bad idea. Rain? I don't know about this, but I won't make a fuss. I also started off as your enemy. Well? Will you fight alongside us for now? All right. I swear upon my good name and these shackles that bind me. I shall not betray you. If you do anything, even the slightest bit suspicious, I'll burn you to a crisp. Got it? Well then, welcome to our group, Regal.